I'm Susan Howard, and I am proud to present another treasure of the NRA National Firearms Museum. It's a prized gun, formerly owned by another national treasure, the little sure shot of the Wild West, none other than Annie Oakley. Take a look at this impressive factory engraved gold and silver wash Smith & Wesson number one, a third issue seven shot revolver. These revolvers were made from 1868 to 1881, and this one was made in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1881. There are 22 short rimfire caliber with a seven shot fluted cylinder. The grips were made with rosewood and had a bird's head shape. The barrels are round ribbed and the extraction of the cartridges is achieved by removing the cylinder and using the rammer pin to clear out the empty cartridges. And while it's enough that the most famous member of Buffalo Bill Cody's Wild West Show owned the Smith & Wesson, there is even more to this story. It's believed that Annie Oakley gave this very revolver to the museum donor's father, Bernard Boulawa. Oakley had noticed Boulawa's disappointment at not receiving a prize during a shooting event, even though he had scored remarkably well. I'd say he got a nice consolation prize. Mr. Boulawa was not only a noted marksman, winning many competitions, he was also an NRA Life member. It's another of the remarkable stories you'll find on display every day at the National Firearms Museum.